temperatures uh, in storage. Yes, mm, Professor Panayotis gave uh, gave us uh, a very interesting uh, uh, presentation about uh, what happens in wines at high temperatures. And this paper will uh, focus uh, on uh, developing uh, a forecast uh, uh, method to estimate uh, what is the likelihood of uh, a wine to be modified through high temperatures. And uh, later on, uh, we'll have another presentation on a forecast model uh, uh, to uh, um, assess uh, wine stored uh, at uh, uh, cellar temperatures, temperatures uh, to which uh, wines are exposed during transportations uh, are um, a, a matter of concern to all. On the left, you can see some uh, high temperatures in Sweden in the first case uh, and uh, locally transport uh, at a local level uh, and uh, uh, transportation took place uh, in uh, uh, summer and in trucks. Uh, uh, the month is uh, uh, the month of July, whereas on the right hand side uh, you can see another uh, uh, transportation case uh, on the road uh, in uh, the United States from California to Illinois in uh, summer as well. And you can see that uh, you can uh, go uh, up to 40 degrees or even uh, 50 degrees in some cases. Um, for relatively long periods of times and uh, uh, um, in a repeated manner. What happens in a wine? Uh, we've seen what happens over the various uh, molecules. Transformations uh, normally take place. I would uh, simplify the concept and I uh, uh, ask uh, the uh, uh, chemical experts to bear with me here. But this is a simplification based upon the different uh, value of K10, uh, that is uh, the thermal uh, uh, constant value that is uh, for a reaction. Here we record uh, the uh, increase in temperature that uh, leads uh, to a multiplication uh, by 10 of the necessary time. Well, you can see that um, uh, uh, reaction times uh, can be reduced uh, drastically, I would say, for the more sensitive reactions. Here you can see this range, K10, that has been used uh, for the simplification, and I would say that is a broad range, but it is not uh, unreal. Uh, do you consider that uh, K10, uh, the average K10, well, uh, the free uh, um, SO2 for a free SO3 is uh, 103, whereas uh, comes, uh, um, uh, oxygen consumption uh, uh, speed for polyphenols is estimated at around uh, 13. So we are talking a very, of a very sensitive reaction, very sensitive to temperatures. We've already talked about the experiment and beyond the uh, uh, gases and liquid uh, chromatography analysis, many other tests were carried out on wine, especially um, uh, uh, FTIR spectrometry, color in terms of absorbance uh, and uh, uh, CLAB uh, uh, chromatic uh, features, uh, uh, um, heavy metals uh, and uh, other analyses, uh, for instance, uh, B2 and uh, anthocyanins uh, for red wines. And for each sample, uh, sensorial uh, analysis uh, was also carried out. Let's have a look at some of the molecules that are shown to be particularly sensitive to uh, an increase in temperature. And we can see here that there are substantial differences between uh, what is seen in red and in white wines. On the left-hand side, you can see the evolution for uh, epicath 
epicatechin SO3H. You can see the evolution at 90 days at a cellar temperature. 13 degrees, uh, that is a simulation of the average uh, uh, cellar uh, temperatures. And let's see what happens uh, uh, at 35 degrees uh, for uh, 5, 10, and 15 days uh, in white and red wines. And now here you can see the situation at uh, 45 degrees uh, for uh, white and red wines. There are significant uh, differences among the various uh, um, tests. Uh, when temperature is uh, change and uh, when we test a different type of wine. We should also uh, consider that in uh, uh, polyphenol terms, uh, uh, the two wines, red and white, are very different. Uh, the same uh, holds true for uh, the ethyl uh, decanoate, uh, where we uh, reach uh, 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 um, high temperatures and the decrease is much more pronounced uh, for white wines, which means that the two types of wines, uh, uh, white and red, are to be uh, uh, considered uh, much uh, different. Uh, here you can see TDN 45 uh, at 45 uh, uh, um, degrees cent uh, centigrade only for red wines, and then you see B2SO3H. Here you uh, can uh, have a comparison uh, with what happens uh, at uh, cellar temperatures. Uh, on the left-hand side, uh, you can see values at 45 degrees, and on the right-hand side, at 35. You can see that there are significant uh, and uh, uh, marked uh, differences uh, um, among uh, the various uh, samples. Uh, um, well, uh, red wines uh, uh, um, came from different uh, um, geographical areas, uh, different varietals, uh, and different vintages. I would like uh, to uh, draw uh, uh, some conclusions that white and red wines uh, are to be uh, assessed and considered uh, through very different criteria after 90 days at 13 degrees centigrade and uh, 23 degrees centigrade, uh, there are uh, uh, slight differences. But at 45 degrees, uh, you can uh, uh, get interesting information uh, after one day only, especially when it comes uh, to the uh, uh, stopper um, uh, um, stability. Uh, when it comes to the sensory analysis, uh, after a few days, uh, 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 samples kept at very high temperatures uh, uh, um, uh, sh show to be uh, uh, um, worsened. So, I mean, uh, if you increase the speed of certain reactions, uh, the sensorial uh, uh, balance uh, is uh, uh, highly affected, uh, whereas at higher temperatures uh, and longer times, uh, you uh, can see uh, uh, that uh, uh, um, some uh, complex phenomena take place, uh, uh, parasites or some other elements, uh, in fact, uh, the sample uh, and interpretation is very difficult. We selected uh, the data with uh, um, a, a double uh, 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 vari with two variables. Uh, first of all, uh, at uh, uh, um, cellar temperatures, uh, and then uh, considering uh, their initial uh, value so that we would uh, draw incremental values that could be compared. And we selected only those variables uh, that showed to be significant, that is, uh, uh, with uh, a, a high probability of differentiated uh, samples uh, and tests. Uh, and uh, for red wines, uh, we selected a plot of 19 uh, significant uh, variables. Uh, the uh, wider variety uh, was uh, shown in the case of two tests. Uh, the test at uh, uh, 35 degrees uh, for 10 uh, days, uh, what we call B, and for five days at 45 degrees, uh, which was identified uh, with uh, uh, letter J. A characterization of samples for red wines for the two tests uh, can be shown here. Here you can see that uh, the 
the B wines, the, the, those that were kept uh, at a lower temperature but for a longer time, uh, are uh, to be located on the left-hand side of the graph. In purple, uh, you can see the vector for the uh, uh, most pronounced uh, alteration. Uh, so you can see how certain components uh, 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 behave uh, for those wines uh, uh, for which uh, uh, there was uh, the uh, 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 most pronounced change. But there is a sample that behaves differently. Here you can see the sample that was exposed to a temperature of 45 degrees. There is a higher level of differentiation. But here again, there are some samples uh, that behave differently than the others. A, uh, an additional uh, indication of all or the variables that characterize um, or that rather were uh, are used by this model. For the first component, uh, you can see those uh, uh, that uh, are uh, highly affected, the polyphenol uh, compounds, uh, whereas uh, aromatic compounds uh, are more affected for the second component, especially the most uh, significant, uh, fulforyl and uh, TDN, uh, where the highest affected. Here there is this vector that is the combination of the two uh, components weighted based on the variability. Well, by doing this, we transform the uh, uh, position of samples in uh, uh, numbers, uh, either positive or negative numbers based upon uh, the position of the uh, 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 sample vis-a-vis -vis the vector of the highest uh, variation. Here you can see in yellow and in orange uh, the values uh, for uh, uh, B and J tests. In order to have a sort of uh, uh, validation for the test, uh, we uh, projected uh, the values uh, for uh, the known exposed uh, uh, samples, uh, that is, uh, those uh, that were kept uh, at 13 degrees after uh, 90 days. And you can see that uh, uh, values are much lower. These are indices uh, that were uh, 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 created based uh, upon the variables uh, uh, that uh, you've seen and that have been uh, uh, illustrated by Professor Arat Pitsas. And complex, uh, sophisticated analysis are necessary, such as uh, uh, polyphenol uh, uh, um, uh, um, aromas uh, in, uh, um, through chromatography or gas chromatography or gases uh, chromatography. How can you use this type of index? Well, this is just uh, a, an example uh, of for uh, theor theoretical purposes, uh, but you could uh, define certain uh, transportation uh, criteria in terms of uh, uh, air conditioning uh, during transportation uh, or uh, extra uh, temperature peaks uh, in terms of both duration uh, and uh, maximum temperature. We also verified uh, whether a further simplification uh, of the test uh, could uh, be carried out. And I tried to find a correlation uh, between the uh, basic uh, uh, analysis uh, carried out uh, uh, for wines, uh, both those that were uh, um, uh, subject to uh, uh, thermal test uh, and the others. Uh, and we saw that there is a good uh, correlation uh, between the main components uh, that we saw and that were associated to the samples and a series of uh, a basic analysis. Uh, uh, well, uh, um, SO2, FTAR uh, spectrometry, um, and two metals, uh, um, iron and zinc. Um, The advantage of having uh, this type of model uh, is that you can have a, a, a provision index uh, with uh, a, a more affordable and simpler uh, tools. Uh, there is, however, a limitation to it. 
that is uh, this uh, uh, um, modeling that is based upon only uh, nine samples of uh, wine will need further investigation through uh, tests on other samples. And I'm referring to a comprehensive uh, test together with the basic analysis. For white wine, I would say that the number of samples is too limited in order to have uh, a robust uh, model uh, that can uh, be proposed. Further investigation uh, over time might uh, enable us uh, to uh, uh, find a valid correlation also for the test at uh, 45 degrees. Uh, well, this is uh, uh, the PCH, uh, but you can only see samples at 35 uh, uh, degrees. Uh, um, here you can see the same samples uh, uh, identified uh, by letter B. Uh, sample A at uh, um, 35 degrees uh, and uh, B here at 35 degrees, uh, whereas PR is the index uh, um, obtained uh, through the model uh, that I've illustrated. Uh, you can see that differences uh, are not excessive in any case, that they're not significant in any case, whereas in some cases we have total overlapping, which uh, uh, um, uh, can be further a confirmation of the, f of the uh, validity of the test. Here we compare and contrast uh, the index, uh, that was the actual one in yellow, and uh, the estimate that had been made based on base parameters. Uh, I thank you very much for your attention.